Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we dive into the recent solar storm that knocked out signals in Hawaii and why more dangerous flares could be coming. The sun has blasted an X flare towards Earth once again. The eruption reached us and disrupted communication systems. Sunspot Region 4114 released the X flare, the most powerful solar flare. Radio blackouts were reported over the Pacific Ocean, including Hawaii, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center. The sunspot has been highly active in the past few weeks and has released several solar flares. But Tuesday's event was the strongest flare spewed by it so far. Scientists predict that this is not the end and more solar flares can be expected, with one incoming today. The sunspot is facing right at Earth, and G1 geomagnetic storms could be expected over the next few days. The active region has been growing in size and has produced several smaller flares, including an M1.5 event. Multiple coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, were recorded in 24 hours from the sunspot region. However, Earth escaped them all since the solar particles either passed north of Earth, behind Earth, or came from the far side of the Sun. Sunspot 4114 is large and unstable, with a Delta-class magnetic field that harbors energy for strong explosions, according to spaceweather.com. It released an M8.46 class solar flare that caused a shortwave radio blackout over North America. Frequencies at below 20 MHz lost signals. More solar flares are expected to hit Earth this week, released by the active sunspot region, which is still facing Earth, according to spaceweather.com. The sun is rotating, which will move the sunspot away from Earth in the coming days. However, it will continue to remain active, and the next time it faces Earth, more solar flares can be unleashed towards us. More sunspots are emerging, with one observed in the southeast region. However, it is hard to tell at this point how big it is. A sunspot forms during solar maximum, when the sun goes through an 11-year cycle. It is a dark, cooler area, which forms when strong magnetic activity slows down the flow of hot gas from the star's interior to its surface. The solar maximum started in October 2024. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned. Eerie of two suns in Florida's sky. A surreal sight with a shockingly simple explanation. A strange sunset seen in Florida this weekend left residents questioning reality. The fireball appeared extremely weird, taking on a dark red and orangish hue on May 31st. People were baffled to see the sun look like a cutout and donning strange colors. Photos posted on social media show a bizarre sun and have attracted several comments. People called it out as proof that we are living in a simulation, with another saying that the matrix seems to be broken. Another user posted a similar picture of the sun taken in Ohio the day before that. In some photos, the sun looks dark red, while in others, it looks misty white and red. Some pictures also appeared to show two suns. A few people on social media even thought that they were looking at Mars because of its bright red hue. However, the phenomenon has a perfect explanation. According to meteorologists, the sun can project such colors in certain conditions. In this particular case, the reason was the smoke generated by the Canadian wildfire. This is a rare atmospheric phenomenon and can also happen in places where there is heavy pollution. Andrew Stutsky told WQAD News 8 that when smoke reaches the upper atmosphere, such an effect is created. He added that the visible light spectrum is affected because of smoke. Normally we can see orange, yellows and greens, but wildfire smoke blocks the shorter wavelengths, that is, green, blue, indigo and violet. So you are left with red, yellow and orange and that is what people could see in Florida. Meanwhile, the second sun effect was the result of light scattering through smoke. Records suggest that similar incidents have been seen in the past as well. 
A double sunset was described by Dr. Robert Plot in 1686. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.